Now, to do that, sit down. Once again, you're supposed to kind of cut it in pieces, then you just, you uh, set it on fire. You say the pledge of allegiance, stuff like that, just to, you know, kind of uh, uh, honor and respect. All right, next flag is called the false flag, so that's the name of it. It is the regular flag, and the sides are 10 feet, about 19 feet, right? It is normally used for everyday occasions, right? Once again, it is called the false flag. Now, the one we have on the flag for right now doesn't fit the quite dimension, but we use it as a false flag, well, that's all we have. If you, go, if you go to any military installation, they will have the correct size. Once again, it's in the size are 10 feet by 19 feet. It is used for everyday locations. That's pretty easy. Though. There you go, that's fine. So whatever, make it easier for you to remember. And the last flag student is called the stone flag. Okay? Once again, it's called the stone flag. I'm going to put it up there. Storm, yes. Yeah. Storm fly uh, students, it is five feet by nine and a half feet. It is used for bad weather. Now, I could have got a better picture, but students normally use when it's windy, uh, rain. Now, you can imagine how to put a false fly or a garrison fly when it's windy, right? It's not gonna work. You may get you may get left up and be flying, be flying away. That fly is very powerful, it's very heavy. So that is the storm fly, students. Cool. All right, so how many flies do we have? Three. What's the first one? Yes. 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 The next one? Outside. The next one? Outstanding. Outside. Yeah, okay. All right, students, move on. Not yet. <laughs> Please let me know when you're ready. Let's move to the next one. Next. Ready? After that, I'm going to put some examples of how you show respect for the flag. The first one is when in formation. Commander will call somebody to attention and everyone salutes. Once again, when in formation, the commander will call somebody to attention and everyone will salute. That's one way to show respect for the flag. The next one is. Outdoor, outside, not in uniform. You remember JROTC or you remember the military, you're required to salute. Okay, when in doubt, salute to the you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one in oh, this line here. When you are indoors, you turn attention to the flag passes through the tent. Okay, now how many students here have seen the assembly for the color guard about the post colors and people? joking around and, and goofing up, right? A lot of the color guard members, they get upset with that because that's dis uh, disrespecting the flag and them as first, yes. How many people here have been to a ball game, you know, like a, in a, how many of you have know, been to the, uh, go to the, uh, to Arlington, to the ballpark and watch games? You mean like a baseball game? Yeah. How many of us here have witnessed a wonderful person disrespecting the flag by using the cell phone or drinking beer and the flag national anthem in play? <laughs> so it happened to me this past summer. Uh, I was uh, with my family, right? And this wonderful person there, he was joking around, goofing off what the middle school ROTC was posting the flag or posting the colors. And my wife said, don't say that. And I said, I will say something. Mm -hmm. And I said something to the gentleman. He got real, I should say the word, angry. Yeah, there you go. Got a little smart with me. Then at, uh, I like to wear my US Army retired shirt and hat. So I got a bunch of compadres around. Hey, you mess with him, you will mess with all of us. So the guy put his cell phone away, he put a beard away, he took off, disappeared. I don't know what happened to him, but he disappeared. Uh, but anyway, so it, it bothered me that people disrespect the flag. Okay? All right. We're done. All right. Am I ready for the next one? The last one. Oh, we got two more, so we're done. There we go, students. It's the billion close, students. All right. Second attention. Place your right hand over your heart. If you wear a hat, you can take it off and place it over your, over your heart, or your left 
Right. Okay. Indoors, it's a very close attention to the solar system at me. Okay. Basically, you tell it to set your attention and you show respect for the flag. Okay. <coughs> What happened when you write stuff down? What happened? Mm -hmm. When you don't? Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. When you do? Oh, you didn't memorize it. So now that when you get prepared to go to college, that's the way it's going to be so that you got to write whatever you think is important. So when you write it down, you will remember it. I just let me know when you're ready for the next one. Ready. Ready. Who's not ready yet? Okay, that's fine. Take your time. What is it? Student, do not lose that paper. If you guys be so well today, you probably will be allowed to use it on Thursday. Good. Okay? Alright? Alright. Alright. And the last one to the dolls, you will see. The colors is nothing more than you, the US national flag. The ensign is the flag that is flown on the aircraft, boats. So you show that you are from the US or whatever country, right? Staff is nothing, not, nothing more than the flagpole. And also that's the piece of wood that you see attached to the flag, okay? <coughs> and the carrier, this is a rope for the tackle. It is used for racing or blowing the flag. In our flagpole, we have the tackle, right? right? Kind of made out of wire. They hook it up and they go up and down, okay? So those are the four definitions called the carrier. Once you are finished, taco, taco, we begin taco. to line up in the hallway. Yeah. Don't you are, are we, are we coming right back? Make sure that we talk in our shirts. Mm. Once again, once you are finished, you begin to lock, begin to lie down, uh, uh, begin to line up, and we're gonna go outside. <coughs> Quickly, student. Hi, right, student. Go and call it. Do it. Do it. Send it on. There you go. Confused. Arias, come on. Alright. Freeze the arms. There you go. Come on, bring it down. Now, you gotta get up from there.
down, no way down a bit more. Aria, you can Aria, you can do your arms. Order arms. I have to go Aria, do it. Hold it. Bring it in here, do it. No se tanto frío. Yes, it is. Why don't you bring a jacket? ¿Tú también tienes frío, flaca? Bring a jacket next time. Okay, I used to hold it by your Okay, got one. You got going. Does it look like her? Like, I don't see the. Hey, you guys come inside. Inside the school, stay there. Don't go in there. Come on. Come in. Aria, just hold on. Come in there, okay? What? Are you ready? Let me see that fly. Guy, come all this way. What is this? Golly. Oh, guys. Come on, guys. That's okay. Don't feel like that. I'm going to fix it up. Then we'll talk about it in class. Not thank you guys. It's just the second. Now you hold it like this. It'll be up front. Let's go guys. Come on. Well done, Mr. Shaw. Okay. All right, now. Well done, Tim. Mr. Shaw has passed out, or he's had a car wreck, or something has happened to Mr. Shaw. I'm driving in my car. No, he did not break. You hit him. You make him over. I'm driving in my car. And I come up on Mr. Shaw. So this is what most people do whenever they come up on an accident. We just pull them to see if he's dead. Oh, that's what I do all the time. <laughs> 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 that's what most people do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're supposed to stop to render and see if the person is okay. Now, if they're messed up, say Mr. Shaw's leg was over here. Make it real. Make it real, yeah. Yes, but if his leg is over here, you can't walk up on him and freak out. You can't walk up on him and be like, oh my gosh, your leg is all tore up. <laughs> you can't do that. You gotta maintain your composure whenever you come up. Huh? If you throw up on him, that would not be a good thing. That would not be good. So you gotta maintain your composure whenever you come up on him. And what's the first step? Make sure no. he's breathing and <laughs> conscious. <laughs> yes, say it one more time. Okay, now when you ask them to see if they're okay, you don't shake them like this to see if they're okay. Everybody got it. If you shake them like that, you're going to cause further injury. It's called. So you just tap them. Hey, are you okay? All right, he's not okay, so he does not respond. Right. <laughs> she doesn't respond. Yeah. Come here, Anna. I'm fine. 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 I'm f
If Mr. Shaw was Anna and I am me, I would have to check with Anna before I could check her because Anna is different from Mr. Shaw. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? So, if it's you someone of the opposite sex, you want to check and get permission from them before you check it. Everybody got it? Because you don't want to be brought up on charges. So, say I'm working on Anna. This is now Anna, not Mr. Shaw. I'm working on Anna. I'm checking to see if they have blood. And she wakes up. You wake up while I'm checking. Why you touch me? <laughs> right. That's ketchup. Right. So you have to get permission when it's someone of the opposite sex. Even if this is Mr. Singer, y'all still have to check to make sure it's okay. Ladies. If they're passed out, just be very cautious. She's eating it. Yep, just be very cautious before they wake up. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check them. Are you okay? No response. Then what's the next thing I'm going to do? <laughs> no. Man, you have a violent company. Tom, I can't go like this. I can't go like this. Check for burns. You know, I can cut a kick like that. Not WWE time. So after I check for responses, if he doesn't respond, what's the next thing? Check for breathing and heartbeat. Breathing and heartbeat. So I'm going to check for breathing. I'm going to put my head down to his face. And I'm going to look for the rise and fall. Tickle him. Yeah. So he is breathing. He's breathing. How do I check his pulse if he's unconscious? Right here. His arms. Or neck. Or his hand. Neck, hand. So I can check him right here. 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 Yes, you have a pulse. A heart. So... Is here, 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 or here? Hmm? You can check. Now, when you check, do you want to use the thumb or do you want to use the index finger and the middle finger? The middle finger. The fingers. Why? All of them. You don't know what that bamboo touches. Nope. Why do you use the index finger and the middle finger? Because they're most sensitive. Nope. Accurate. No pressure. You feel better. The thumb has a pulse. Correct. That's why. Your thumb has a pulse. So say he's unconscious and I come and check him. Like he's this. Alive. <laughs> like that. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Your thumb has a pulse. So that's why you use your index finger and your middle finger. Whenever you go to the hospital and a nurse checks you, she does this. She does this to check you. No, she, yeah. no, she does not check your pulse like this. <laughs> There's no way she checks your pulse like this. Why not? Because your thumb has a pulse. She wouldn't get an accurate reading. So you have to check with the index finger and the middle finger. So you can check here, you can check here, you can check here, or you can check here. Those are the places you can check. All right. No, you only check their back whenever they have, whenever we're checking for bleeding. Like if we're checking for step three, the way we check for bleeding is stick your hands underneath them, pull your hands out, hopefully there's no blood, all the way down, all the way down, but nine times out of ten you don't carry those. All the way down, all the way around. That's how you check for bleeding. So you go under, 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 and you want to check this time. If he's in the middle of nowhere, you still gotta check for bleeding. You gotta tell me like it's a freeway or something like that? Yeah, you still gotta check. You still got a check. Oh, if nobody's passed, well, then he's in bad shape. Yeah, he's in bad shape. Where do you guys call the hot dog? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm staying away from highway. When I was in the school, I saw this guy who was just laying there, and then I told my cousin, oh, he's dead. And then we had to go check on him, but he was breathing. So. Yeah, why didn't you check him? But he, because he was breathing and because he was drunk. Because, yeah, he was drunk. He was passed out. Yeah. Oh, OK. That's different. And then he looked like he was dead because his body was like a worm. <laughs> That's the, if he but passed out. So, Mr. Coming. Shaw didn't pass out, he had a, he had a car break. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so. He's still alive. He's he, yep. he in the car. He would be inside the car, sir. Yep. He shouldn't be standing up. He has a problem. <laughs> no, he's fine now. He's, I healed him. Broken. I automatically healed him. No, All right. No, 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 you can't you're, not, you're not Jesus. Jesus. You're not, it's like, no, no. All right, go ahead and answer this question. Only click once. Don't Only click once, and this is the free question. This is the free question, right? Man, you don't know. This is the free question. There's no 
right or wrong answer. All right, for our first day class, we're not going to make y'all medical professionals. We're not going to make y'all doctors. We're not going to make y'all nurses. We're going to make y'all aware of first aid treatment. That's all we're going to do. Last year, as we did this class, we had a student that came upon an accident, and she rendered first aid from the class that we gave her, and she saved one of the people that was there on site. All right, like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. No right or wrong answer on this one. This is your freebie. All right. Everybody see the first bullet. Explain the significance of the Good Samaritan Law. All right, the Good Samaritan Law states that you must... Oh, wait, before I say the answer. Does anybody know what the Good Samaritan Law is? No. Yes. Say Yes. That's basically the Good Samaritan Law. What? What was she saying? If there's an accident, like Mr. Shaw, say he was hurt to get Mrs. Kempel's. She's hurt. Yeah. What? No. Yeah. All right, so. Right here on this table? Yep. Yes. What? Okay. No. <laughs> no. I've been doing this. Okay, Mr. Shaw, he's hurt. I'm driving. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm going to dinner. I've been doing this four years. Good Samaritan law states. You've been dead for four? That if I'm the first person on the scene, I can't just stop and look at him. I would. And then drive off. Bye bye. <laughs> it says I have to stop and render aid. Render aid. So if I was to be the first person there and I didn't stop to help Mr. Shaw, that's a fine and or jail time. But how would they know? If someone gets what my license plate. What if you don't know what to do? If you don't know what to do, you just stop, you call 911, and you wait. You got things to do, but you can go to jail. Seriously. In real life. Yeah. Because yeah. if that person dies, it's going to be on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? All right, now, the way, another way you can get caught is that <laughs> the the fair, pretty much there's cameras. Now, you should have been texting. Camera, satellite, satellite device. <laughs> so, <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. How are they going to put you? Some places. Trust me, they'll find you. What? 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 Pablo. Can someone please Pablo. 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 Pablo.
¿Te le bendigí? Es como música muy rápida. La pongo ahí cuando estás marchando, se ven como mensos. Ajá, yo soy famoso en YouTube, gracias. ¿Qué? Nomás le pongo en YouTube y eso es todo. Sí. ¿Sí la pongo? Sí la pongo. Cuando estés metiendo, ahí te pregunta qué quieres el nombre llamar. Lo pones el nombre y eso es todo. ¿Eh? ¿Cuál es Mi nombre. Ok. En real life situation.